Okay, here we are in Kodu, and what we're going to do is program this character here to move in response to the microbits accelerometer. So I'm going to open up the brain and um, add a simple rule. First, we're going to select this tile, the microbit tile. Then we're going to access the accelerometer value through the tilt tile. And what we're going to do is take that value and pipe it into the move action here on the do side of the rule. So we're going to move in response to the micro bit being tilted this way and that way. Let's, uh, let's test it out. Okay, so I'm going to move over here to the micro bit. And uh, I'm going to hold it level to stop all movement, okay? Now I'm going to tilt forward. To begin moving forward, I can tilt left. And I can tilt to the right. I can bump this guy around. And looks like it's working. Okay, here we are back in back in build mode, and what we're going to do is add another rule to this character's brain. What we're going to do is access um, one of the buttons on the micro bit. So when uh, this button is pressed, as long as it is down, we are going to shoot, shoot some projectiles. So now we're going to be able to move about the world and shoot. Okay. Let's uh, test it out. Moving over here to the micro bit. Again, holding it level. And go ahead and turn around so we can see what's going on. Okay, we're going to move toward this guy, and now we're going to press the button. There are the blips, and I destroyed that push pad. Destroyed my opponent. Okay, so here we are back in build mode again. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate now is uh, some of the actions we can take with the micro bit display. So let's go add another rule to this guy's brain. Here, what we're going to do is um, when one of our projectiles hits the um, our opponent over there, um, I'm going to play a little animation on the micro bit display. So when shot hit, we are going to show a pattern on the micro bit. Now here we have a pattern tile, and as you can see, the tile art is a little bit out of date. We're going to update that. But when we select this tile, we get a pattern editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series of these. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a series of patterns that when you play them sequentially, they look like a little explosion radiating out from the center of the display. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to run over here. I'm going to give this guy... I'm going to give him some more health because we killed him too quickly last time. So let's increase his hit points to, let's say, 200. Okay. Let's give that a test. Moving over here to the micro bit. Um, holding it level. And moving toward our opponent. We shoot. And watch the display here. It's hard for me to watch the display and shoot my opponent. But there it is. I hopefully you can see that.
Okay. Um, before moving on from the display portion of this video, I wanted to demo the ability to scroll text on the microbit screen. So I've removed our Kodu character and I've just replaced him with this rock. We're going to add uh, one line of code to this rock that will uh, print something to the microbit. So go into the brain. What we're going to do is when we press a button on the microbit, I'll do the B button this time, then we will say something on the microbit screen. And so here we again have an outdated icon. We're going to update that. When we select that say icon, we get this dialog. And so what I'm going to say is victory. All right, let's give that a try. here to the micro bit. Let's get it in focus. Okay, I'm going to press the B button. And there you have it. Okay, so here we have the micro bit. And the micro bit is wired to some other systems. So, code is going to be reading pin 2 of the micro bit. This is an input. Pin 0 is configured as an output. Pin 2 here is wired over here to this little guy here. He might be hard to see, but that is a photoresistor. And he is measuring the light in the room. So Kodu is reading the light level in the room. Now, if it's dark, Kodu is going to turn this pin on. This pin is wired over here to this relay. This relay controls this AC circuit, which is in turn plugged into two lamps. So when it's dark in the room, Kodu is going to turn on two lamps. Now, when it's light in the room, Kodu is going to turn them off. In addition to that, Kodu is going to change the, the um, environment in-game. If it's light in the room, it's going to be light in the game, and vice versa. Okay, so here we are in build mode, and we have two rocks in our level. I'm going to briefly go over some of the logic in these rocks. You can see here that we are reading on the win side, we are reading pin 2, and then on the do side we are setting pin 0. So we are reading one pin, writing another pin. What this read pin does is it, it reads the um, photoresistor, and then it writes to the relay, turning the relay on or off. So this brain controls the lamps. This other brain here controls the environment within the game. So we read pin 2, and based on its value, we set the sky in game to a certain sky. And we also set the lighting. And then um, if pin 2 has the opposite value, we set the sky to dark, and we turn the lighting down. So we're going to reflect in game what's going on in the real world. So I'm going to test this out really quick. Okay, so we have Kodu running. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over and I'm going to cover up this photoresistor. And when I do, the lamp should come on. There we go. Thank you, Kodu. And now, daylight. Nighttime. Now you notice in game, the lighting and the sky are changing as well. And back to daytime. There we go.